Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. This morning, I'm gonna give you an update on the Dwarf Orchard. I'm glad we planted the zinnias this year. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that in future years, but it sure is beautiful. When we first started to build this shed, we had to build the wall first, and the very first thing that they did was bulldoze the zinnias from the last garden. I'll show you a little bit of that real quick. I'll show you a little bit more up in the orchard itself in just a second, but before that, I'm gonna show you the plants for this year. What we're gonna do is kind of level off this ground right here, and then from the end of this block over to the road, we're gonna fill this whole area in with gravel, extend the culvert up right about where that purple love grass is there, and then right here, I'm gonna cut this area level down here put in some blocks and start a stairway up into the orchard. I got these blocks from town. Hopefully this is enough blocks to get that stairway in. They're all nice and flat and they're about the right height for stairs so that shouldn't be too hard to do that. So the stairway is going to come up to right in here somewhere. Then I'll put a little retaining wall that way and then we'll have like a path going through here. Look at those zinnias. This right here is the Bing Cherry. It's looking pretty good, not looking perfect. Got a little bit of damage on it from the Japanese beetles. And this is the Kamas Pear, which looks like it might have had a little bit of a reaction to the fruit tree spray, but it's gonna be okay as well. The Honeycrisp Apple Tree is doing just fantastic. I'm probably gonna have to get in here and thin this fruit out a bit. There's just way too much fruit. These are all gonna turn into huge, really delicious apples. This is where the excavator hit the tree last year. When he was backfilling all this stuff, he backed right into this and smashed that branch off. It's probably all for the better because we need room for a path through here. Yeah, look at all those apples. Got little tiny baby ones, got medium sized ones. Yeah, there's probably 200 apples on this tree. It's gonna be hard to get rid of them all again this year. Look at that, kind of dragging down towards the ground. I'm gonna have to prune some of that stuff off next winter. And that brings us to the cherry tree. Look at all those cherries. Unfortunately, this was supposed to be a sweet cherry, but these are really sour cherries, and the tree is a semi-dwarf. It's just way too big for this little orchard, so I will likely take this out at the end of the year. I haven't had a whole lot of luck with this. A lot of times, right as these are getting ripe, they get a really nasty fungus, but pretty much every year, as soon as they get ripe, the raccoons get in here and they'll strip the entire tree bare overnight. I mean, it sure does look good. Look at all those cherries, but they're not really good and the tree is just way too big. In its place, we will probably put another cherry there, just a little bit off to the side. This used to be a plum tree. There was a plum tree right next to where this is. We replaced it with the cherry. Now we'll probably replace it with another cherry, 
but this time a dwarf. And then we have room for either two or three more dwarf trees, like one right here, one right here, and one right here. And then we're gonna have this all graveled as a driveway. And then we have this area right here. You could see some of the stalks from last year. This had some really nice hollyhocks last year. They were burgundy color, and these are all volunteers from that. I'm not real sure how many flowers we're gonna get on this, but I needed to clean this area up. So I weeded it, got it all mulched up, and it is what it is. This area right here, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with this area. I'm gonna have to dig around this. This was extended up pretty high. I don't know if this is an extension as well, but I think it is. I think this actually ends right down here. So if it does, I'll probably take both extensions off and then put the cap down at the bottom and then just have that flush with the gravel and put some of these cap stones like this, put them going right through here and then fill the gravel right behind that for this parking spot. And the last thing, which is kind of in the orchard, but kind of out of the orchard, this is a semi-dwarf Macintosh, and this is just a wonderful tree. Again, tons of fruit, well, because it was pruned, right? But it has tons of healthy fruit basically every year, and Natalie really likes these Macintosh apples, so this is definitely gonna stay but it's not technically in the orchard. As for the structure of the dwarf orchard, like I said, I'd like to have six or seven trees in here, but I don't want to have to mow this at all, ever. So I want to get paving stones and this stuff on the ground. I'm hoping to find like bricks of this stuff, like little rectangles. All it is is recycled rubber and I'd like to put that down basically everywhere and then have paving stone walkways coming through here. A couple little gardens, but mostly trees. I'll give you a quick tour of the zinnias before I end this video. Look at all the Japanese beetles. They just shred everything this time of year. God, I hate those things. But the flowers look pretty damn nice. I'm not sure how many of these we'll be able to plant every year, but it would be nice if we could plant like a two-foot border around the edge every year. We'll see. Okay, that's gonna wrap up this quick little video. I'm gonna be doing updates on all of the other little stuff that I got going here. So if you wanna see that stuff, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.